everyone, John here from Four Brewers, and I am back with another beer. And today we're drinking a special beer from uh, Bear Republic. They actually sent this beer to us to check out. Um, this is Through the Haze IPA. Um, this is a hazy IPA, I'm assuming, because it's called Through the Haze. It's 6.4% alcohol by volume, made with Vic Secret, Citra, and Halatau Blanc hops. Um, they're saying it's going to have notes of grapefruit and tropical fruit which is par for the course at this point with these beers. So uh, let's open it up, check it out. Okay, so I wouldn't really call this a hazy beer. Um, it's definitely got uh, a cloudiness to it. It's bright yellow, nice fluffy white head that's uh, sticking around. That's always good to see. Uh, it's a very pretty beer, but uh, I wouldn't call it a hazy. It's definitely a uh, cloudy, almost uh, like wit beer kind of uh, cloudiness going on. So let's see what it smells like. Okay, well, that grapefruit's pretty damn strong. Like, um, it's definitely like an acidic grapefruit aroma that I'm getting off of it. Big time grapefruit. Yeah, it's a, it's a grapefruit pith. Uh, definitely like a grapefruit skin pith kind of thing and like fresh squeezed grapefruit. It's very, very aromatic as far as the grapefruit goes. I'm actually quite surprised they pulled that much grapefruit out of these hops. You do get a nice uh, softness to it, like uh, some of that malt, pop, malt profiles coming through to kind of um, smooth everything out. Uh, as far as tropical notes go, I don't really get a whole lot of tropical notes from it. Um, maybe a little tiny bit, uh, like a, an apricot kind of thing, but um, grapefruit is the fruit in this beer, like as far as the aroma goes. This is um, it smells really good. Uh, if you like grapefruit, if you don't like grapefruit, then you probably won't like this. But if you're a fan of grapefruit, uh, this is good. It's, it's like a, it's almost like a West Coast IPA nose minus the dankness, you know, and the super aggressive hoppiness, uh, but just with the grapefruit. It's, it's definitely like grapefruit juice kind of thing happening. So smells fantastic. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, so that grapefruit comes through on the flavor too, big time. Um, it's got a, a nice carbonation to it, a nice bite to it. Uh, it doesn't really have that soft, pillowy mouthfeel that I'm looking for when it comes to a hazy IPA or a New England style IPA, but it's a good beer overall. Like, uh, it drinks very clean, uh, very easy. Uh, it's, it's a really refreshing beer, um, but you don't get a whole lot of like pillowy mouthfeel. And for that matter, you don't get um, a whole lot of bitterness either. Uh, I know I say a lot like New England style IPAs that are true to style from that region tend to have that pillowy vanilla cake batter kind of thing on the flavor and a little bit on the aroma. Uh, and then West Coast sometimes has that, but it's more bitter, uh, more juicy fruit and more West Coast style, um, but not like super bitter like West Coast IPA. And this is kind of in its own category. It's not really a pillowy mouthfeel. It's it's a little thinner, a little drier. It does have a, a softness to it, and, but it also doesn't have like that bitterness that I would expect from a West Coast interpretation of a New England style IPA. Uh, that being said though, the grapefruit is very prominent in this. Like it's all, I almost feel like they made it with like grapefruit. That's how big the grapefruit is in this. Um, and it's really, good beer. Like I would buy a six pack of this, no problem. Um, but it's, it's in its own category, I think for a hazy IPA. I'm going to go in here for another, another taste. Yeah. Going in again, um, the grapefruit's still pretty strong, but you do get hints of like orange, um, kind of, a uh, uh, a tangerine thing. I got that on the nose too. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very like citrus fruit forward. Um, grapefruit being the biggest one of them all. So uh, it's a great beer. Uh, it's definitely uh, an interpretation of a hazy IPA. Uh, I think a qualifier for this as a hazy IPA is it's it's got the ABV, it's got the fruitiness, and it's got the uh, tamed bitterness uh, where it's not all up in your face. But I think this could easily, you know, add some bittering hops to it and maybe bump up uh, the body a little bit more, and you've got a really good just straight up West Coast IPA. So um, 
for what it is, I, I dig it. I would buy it again. I don't think it's a hazy. If I had this blind, I don't think I'd call it a hazy. I think I'd call it like a, a really fruity pale, um, but not like New England inspired or New England style. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. So through the haze, if you see it, I'd check it out. I'd pick it up. Uh, thanks to Bear Republic for sending this to us. Uh, it was a tasty brew. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.